The Augusta County Sheriff's Office has suffered a serious legal defeat as the United States Supreme Court denied an appeal by Deputy Michael Roan, clearing the way for a jury trial in the controversial case of a fatal dog shooting. The Supreme Court's decision, delivered on October 8, 2024, upholds a ruling by the Fourth Circuit Court of Appeals, which had twice rejected efforts from the deputy to dismiss the case, ensuring that Rome must now face a jury. The case, Tina Ray versus Michael Roan, stems from the 2021 shooting of Jax, a family dog tethered outside Ray's home in Augusta County as Deputy Roan attempted to serve an arrest warrant. Ray alleges that Roan used excessive force, killing her pet without justification. The district court initially granted summary judgment in Roan's favor, dismissing Ray's claims, but the Fourth Circuit overturned that decision in February, citing unresolved factual disputes. Central to the appellate court's ruling is conflicting testimony about Roan's actions just before the shooting. The court pointed to witness accounts suggesting that Roan may have stopped retreating from the dog and taken a step toward Jax before firing, indicating that the animal might not have posed an immediate threat. This factual dispute, the court said, requires jury deliberation, rejecting the district court's dismissal. The Fourth Circuit's decision also took aim at the application of qualified immunity a legal doctrine that often protects police officers from civil liability. The court ruled that a reasonable jury could find Roan's actions unreasonable, thus denying him the protections of qualified immunity. This ruling chips away at the broad legal shield officers have traditionally enjoyed in excessive force cases. With the Supreme Court's refusal to intervene, the case will return to the Western District of Virginia for trial. Originally scheduled for October 7th to 9th, 2024, the trial was postponed after Roan's legal team sought Supreme Court review. Now, with the appeal denied, the district court is expected to set a new trial date soon. The legal battle is a major blow to the Augusta County Sheriff's Office, which has supported Roan throughout the proceedings. Sheriff Donald Smith and his department are now facing a trial that could result in both reputational damage and financial consequences, depending on the jury's verdict. For Tina Ray, this decision is a significant step in her pursuit of justice. The upcoming trial is expected to reignite debates over law enforcement accountability and the limits of qualified immunity particularly in cases involving the use of deadly force against household pets. Legal experts believe the trial, which could begin later this year or in early 2025, will be closely watched nationwide. The case also has broader implications for how law enforcement officers interact with animals and handle the use of force in non-threatening situations. For the Augusta County Sheriff's Office, the trial could lead to deeper scrutiny of departmental policies and the potential need for reforms, all while multiple Augusta County deputies are facing criminal charges or civil trials. As the legal proceedings return to the district court, all eyes will be on the next steps as this long-running case finally approaches a jury trial and a verdict. To stay up to date on the latest police accountability news, subscribe to Breaking Through News on the Newsbreak app or visit breakingthrough.com.